Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2019. I bought this course on Udemy called Python for Financial Analysis. At this time, I just finished my first semester of university and was actually a business major. My plan was to finish the whole course during the winter break. It was obviously possible since it was only 16.5 hours and I had two whole weeks. So I wanted to come back from the break smarter than everyone else while they're watching Netflix and anime. January 6, 2019. Winter break is over and it's the first day of school. I only completed five hours of the course and spent the rest of my time watching Netflix and anime. I also watched a bunch of tech videos during this time and learned that you can make up to 200k a year as a new grad software engineer at a big technology company. I lost my wife, my son, my family. I lost my job, a good career over at Facebook. If I just practice LeetCode to prepare for interviews and learn how to reverse a linked list. A programming question where you have to write code to reverse the elements in a list. Sounds pretty easy, does it? It took me a whole year to do it. You'll see why. My mom also said I couldn't do CS because I sucked at math, which she is not wrong about. But it didn't matter to me because as soon as I learned how to print Hello World, I felt the power in my hands. I knew my journey had already begun and I switched my major to computer science. Winter 2020. For this semester, I only had one real introductory programming class in Java and it was super basic. This is where I went over the easy stuff like if statements, loops, classes, objects, and like... How to use an IDE, I guess? What the fuck did I learn in this class? I was mostly catching up on some math courses this term because I literally forgot how to do like the most basic shit like long division or geometry because I just haven't used them in so long. So I have a question. How did you know that 90 degrees in a circle is equal to pi over 2 radians? You should have learned that in high school. I'm not going over all that again. Oh yeah, of course, totally. Now, now I remember, yeah. You know how they say there's no dumb questions? I definitely ask a bunch of those. Summer 2020. This summer is when I really learned more about programming in general. I took courses like system hardware, web development, discrete math, and more object-oriented programming. I learned about how computers really work, stuff like logic gates, CPUs, and that everything basically boiled down to bits of zeros and ones. Super cool stuff. Discrete math. Can we not talk about this course? I, I don't want to remember this course. No, don't don't even put a picture. Get get this class out of here. Get this class. Hello? Get hey, stop. Stop. The second object-oriented programming course I took was actually useful. It taught me about concepts like inheritance, polymorphism, exception handling, linked list, and more. Web programming. This is where I learned my fundamentals of building websites. So stuff like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP, yes. Fucking PHP. Here's the first website I've ever built. Pretty cool, right? I remember when I first finished this, I wanted to show this to all my friends and they were just like, So I really focused on learning how to build websites during this term and by the end I still could not reverse a linked list. <laughs> Fall 2020. Time to apply for jobs. I started applying to companies with a few projects on my resume. I also just started taking the data structures and algorithms course this term so I tried to cram as much as possible before my interviews but I obviously had a lot of knowledge holes. So my last question to you is explain to me what's a deadlock. Oh shit I don't know what this is. Yeah, so uh, could you first tell me if it's like a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> Can't you tell by the name? Deadlock? <laughs> Yikes, yes, that actually happened. I still cringe when I think about it to this day. But for those of you who don't know what a deadlock is, it's supposed to be like very obviously bad. It's like asking if the sky is blue and, and, and you're like, uh, well, can I first ask you if if the ocean's blue. <laughs> I ended up interviewing with a couple of companies, among which was Morgan Stanley. I somehow passed the interview and the lady interviewing me was super nice and pretty. Wait, is that weird to say? Yeah, that's kind of weird. She was super nice and she gave me an easy lead code question which involved implementing the quick sort algorithm, which luckily for me was the only sorting algorithm I had memorized the day before. But my school's co-op ended up canceling it for me since I had already accepted another offer from Genetech, which turned out to be pretty amazing. I tried hitting up my Morgan Stanley interviewer again later on LinkedIn for my second internship, uh, but I'm still waiting for her reply. And it's been two months. I, I think I still got a shot, right? 
So this term, I also did some C++, but it was mostly getting down my stacks, queues, linked lists, trees, hash tables, graphs, and sorting algorithms. At the end of this whole year, I had a grasp on the fundamentals of web development, data structures, algorithms, and I felt ready for my first internship. But most importantly, I now knew how to reverse a linked list.